guys, Zul'jin here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Last episode, our good friend got put in jail. For no good reason. The king thought he was reckless, and that's what we were told. We don't really know if the king said that or not, but we may find out now. I say it once more, I'm the king of Moonbrook, the scion of Erdrig. By the power of my legendary line, Atlas will be defeated. Of course, his majesty is descended from heroes. A wager as one as mighty as he could strike Atlas down in a single blow. Uh, I'm no hero, Zero, my dear. As well you know, our good friend Zul'jin, on the other hand, the blood of heroes coursing through my veins and with it a strength beyond reckoning. Zul'jin, I wish for you to build a weapon capable of harnessing this incredible power. I shall explain to you what must be done. You have only to give my thoughts form. I'm not going to talk to you about Mauroff. Bruh, you can't just get on with life like like Malroth's not in jail, Z. It's not up to me, y'all. If it was, I would fix it. I would fix it. Draws out Tower 1 Blueprint. And the Tower 1 Blueprint looks like this. Castle corners, castle walls, cattle, castle wall buttresses, and, and uh, castle tiles, columns, steps. Okay. <laughs> Egad, truly you are a credit to your trade, Zul'jin. The Kazapul Cannon I have long dreamed of shall soon be given form. You mean to build a Kazapul Cannon, the weapon capable of combining the power of every citizen of Moonbrook and unleashing it upon our enemies? I thought it was a mere myth. But this design does not look like the cannon emplacement to me. It's nothing more than a tower. What purpose could it possibly serve? If my understanding is correct, this is the only one of the three blueprints, yes? The two towers to provide the power, and the third to house the cannon itself. I see. So this blueprint is for the first of the charging towers, then. Commendable work, young Zul'jin. Now, allow me to deliver unto you my final commandment. So we've got three towers. Defeat Atlas. Construct the Casable Cannon to vanquish Atlas. Only this mighty weapon, we can lay down Monster General Low and bring peace back to Moonbrook. We must all work together to build it. Then it's complete. The Casable Cannon will be a breathtaking structure. Not just a weapon worthy of King, but one worthy of the Scion of Erdrich. Now, Zul'jin, this is surely a moment of celebration, and yet, you wear such a stern expression. Does odd bother you? I beg your pardon? How much longer must Mauroth stay imprisoned in the dungeon, you ask? Forgive me, Zul'jin. I know how close to the who of you are. Your friend's incarceration must be vexing indeed. Oh, well. Apparently he does know about it. But no matter. How much you have done for my kingdom, a wise king must heed his counsel. When Mauroth fights, he strikes more fear into the hearts of our own soldiers than those of our enemies. And then there is a matter of his lack of redirect er, of reflection in Ra's mirror. You need not fear for his safety. No harm will come to your friend. And when the time is right, he will be freed. Come, Zul'jin, his majesty has spoken. Let us focus our efforts on building the Casable Cannon, and that Atlas may be slain on this ugly business ended. Like, if I had a choice, I would just say, nope. I ain't building nothing until y'all release him. I may be a king, Zul'jin, but I am first and foremost a man of Moonbroke. I too shall aid you in the tower's construction. We shall need the materials to build it, though. I hesitate to ask Zul'jin to gather them again afterwards he has done for us thus far, but... But nothing, dear Zara. We shall gather what resources we need to complete the blueprint. We shall, sh we shall show youngins what it means to be a builder. That's the spirit, Jeremiah. What do you say we make a contest of it? Who can gather the most? Oh, good. So I won't have to gather all that stuff myself? It's about time. Uh, I see those two are full of vim and vigor, as always. Unlike you, Zul'jin, where is your usual energy and cheer? Are you still worried about Mauroth? I hear that Anessa was instrumental in convincing the king to lock him away in the dungeon. I wonder why she would do such a thing. Certainly, she has long expressed misgivings about Mauroth's aggressive attitude, but she knew his strength served us well in the field. Whatever the truth may be, I understand your charging, Zul'jin. But fear not, I am sure your friend will be freed soon. You just need to wait a little longer. Hmm? Lord Jeremiah and Lord Jerome have been gone for a long while, haven't they? I hope nothing uh, untoward has happened to them. What do you say to this, Jeremiah? Finer marble <laughs> you've never seen. Do you accept defeat? Never. The cotton and wood I collected may look plain, but the quality is unsurpassed. 
While you were gathering that fluff and kindling, just look at how many blocks of castle walls I had the people build. Uh, anyone could blocks like anyone could build blocks like that. These classical columns and big bold banners require real craftsmanship. Well, Zuljan, I hope we proved as old timers can still hack it. All right, yeah, y'all put all that stuff in there. Right, where's everything in the chest? Lord Jerome, Lord Jeremiah, you all right? They just fell over. <laughs> Commendable work, you two. Now that you have the materials, you could then work on the Casable Cannon. People of Moonmoke, raise a cheer. I just don't feel like cheering right now. I really don't. I've been looking at your latest blueprint, my lamb, and it seems you will need something called an Orb of Power to complete the structure. Myself and the other townspeople can build the tower, but you will have to prepare this item. Sadly, I haven't the first clue where one would begin to look for such a thing. I believe I may be of assistance. To the north of Moonbro Castle, atop a cliff, stands a singular statue of the goddess gazing out into the ocean. She watches over a lighthouse that stands off the coast, and within it rests the power of the orbs of power. Take Anesset and Warwick to you, with you, and you should have no trouble retrieving this treasure. So, Jin, let us leave any discussion of Vanessa's role in the business with Maral till later. Whatever she is, she is a fine soldier and we may need her strength. Soon enough, the truth will come out, I promise you that. Warwick, Zuljin, are you two whispering about? Aha, uh -huh, um, Zuljin was just complaining about how hungry he was and I was advising him on the primitive properties of snow. Well then, please find the lighthouse and bring back the orb of power so that we can complete the blueprint. We're all counting on you. Yeah, it's Warwick. <laughs> the traitor is Warwick, not Anessa. I, I, I think Anessa is just straight up concerned. Stupidly concerned, but concerned. Um, well, not stupidly concerned, because he's the Lord of Destruction, but what they don't know is his behavior is actually driving him, man. It is driving him. Okay, so this, uh, this quest, we need to go north, just right here. Uh, easiest way to get there is just walk, actually. So, uh, that's what we're gonna begin doing, I suppose. Let's see. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're just, we're outside of the castle walls. I got you. I got you. Alright, so we're not really gonna need to harvest anything out here that I know of. I mean, everything is pretty much done. So, we should just be able to go straight there. I did bring a bed, did I not? Yeah, I got, well, I got plenty of beds. Take one out. All right, and I'll just I'll go for a little while, and if the if the monster stuff gets hectic or it gets any darker, I'll sleep. But I think we're okay right now. And let's see here. This is the tower that they spoke of with the chest, and off in the coast is where it said that this is the deal. This must be the statue of the goddess that His Majesty told us about. Uh, but where's the beacon? I cannot see anything. I suppose we have no choice but to glide out in that direction and hope for the best. Beware, Zul'jin. Whirlwinds can often sight it over the seas. Be sure to avoid them, or we may face the same fate as the Air Force. So, I think... I'm pretty sure the weather has to do with this location, but I'm going to put the bed down and sleep anyway. It can't hurt, right? It'll pass the time, and if the weather gets bad, better, or the visibility gets better, that'll be okay with me. All right. And neither of them. Ha! <laughs> neither of them happened. That's okay, though. You gotta watch out for whirlwinds. Wow. Bruh. Ha! <laughs> Alright, it looks like... We're coming in. You know, I really kind of want to see what happens with the whirlwinds. So I'm just gonna go into one. For the fun of it, guys. For the fun of it. Let's hit the whirlwind. Oh! It just knocked us down. All right, I thought I was hoping that it would fling us. Ha! I was hoping that it would fling us across the map, but no such luck. All right, well we're here, we're, wherever this place is at. We are here, and I know all this castle blocks that I could harvest. Listen, I know about castle blocks. So this is the lighthouse His Majesty told us of, but what the devil is doing here? Let's see. Ah, there seems to be an entrance over there. Let's see where it leads us, shall we? 
as soon as I get this Navaglobe. All right, let's go in and see. I imagine this is gonna be of the dungeon-like caliber. Wait, what is that? It's a Lithper. Look, a monster. Eek! Oh, that little sucker. That's strange. Wherever did the monster disappear to? Most suspicious indeed, but no matter. Let us press on. As soon as I break down this wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, baby. Yeah, I know I have to go there, but... O oh, hero, who doth come in need, surrender not unto the greed. Thou shalt not find here what thou seekest, only pain and peril bleakest. Um, how about I just give him a little smack? <laughs> Stuff spiked hair. <laughs> Whatever the heck that's for. I learned how to make it now. Yeah, a, de a delightful doll resembling a vicious rabbit. Well, that's that's basically what that was. I don't want to go down here yet. Not yet. Thou was proved thyself a hero. Enter and entrust to thy fate. Ouch! You sucker! You little sucker! Dang it, Bobby! Haha! <laughs> it's gonna be like that, huh? It's gonna be like that, is it? Okay. Okay. I'm. Y'all wanna play dirty? I'm gonna play dirty too. Break it all down. Uh-huh. Open sesame. I don't know what the heck all these things are, but I'm getting them. Are they just green lamps? Uh-huh. Okay. Look at all of these traps and thingamajigs and... Gizmos and lights and all of this stuff. Alright, I have a feeling that it wants us to go up. Or is this just... Hmm. Let's see here. I mean, I could just pill her up. I could... If we're going up, I could cheat. <laughs> I could cheat here, but I'm not too sure is that's what we need to do. Um, we do... I would like to get up there just to see what's going on. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. Let's just place some castle blocks. Get here. Go around. And take a little peek -see, Shall we? I don't see anything... Hmm. Alright. Let's go up by one more, shall we? Oh, I can't go up anymore. That's why it's not letting me. Okay, so maybe it was to go down. Maybe it was. So, there is a quest marker and it's below. Maybe it did want me to go below here. Ah, I see. I see. I see. All right. So the game was just telling me where to go. It wasn't really trolling me. That doesn't seem like this game at all. Alright, let's check this out then. To savor the divine delight of bouncing to the higher height, leap though upon the springs of red and take care not to hit thy head. Or if thou wishes to careen to the even higher heights, choose green, bounce once, bounce twice, bounce thrice, 
and soon thou shalt be higher than the moon. What a strange poem. It must have something to do with the colored springs. Perhaps we could use them to scale the building from the inside and see what lies on top. There must be a way to higher floors somewhere around here. Let's work our way upwards and keep a weathery eye out for the orb of power. So, yeah, that's what's going on. So, we need to go up, right? And let's see. Red is... Nothing, really. The greens keep us going. Okay. We're... Oh! Dang it, Bobby! Hmm. Alright. You know what? I might just... I might just cheat a little bit. There we go. Ha! Now, where were we? Okay, a little bit higher. A little bit higher. And... Uh, bro, are, where are, we, are, we, are we where we came in at? No, there's a chest here. So that's good. It's a mimic! This guy's probably gonna have a lot of hit points. Ouch. Actually, much less powerful than I would expect a mimic to be. Uh, well, I mean, he does hit kind of like a truck. <laughs> he does hit pretty dang hard. Oh, here doth come in need. Surrender to and un to the greed there. Should I find out the seekers and pain and peril and bleakest? Okay. Yeah, we read that again. Okay, and uh, now. This is where we just were, right? No, this is another spot. The orb of power must be here somewhere. Keep looking, okay. All right, it just tells us pretty much the same thing. I, did it? Did it tell us the same thing? Yeah, yeah, it told us the same thing. Let's go out the tower here. Is this where I originally came in at? It is. It is. Alright, and how high are we looking at for the tower exactly? You know what, guys? I I know, I, I understand that there's a gauntlet here. But there's also a sandbox just waiting for me to use. So that's what I'm going to do. Alright, we are now all the way up top. That wasn't bad at all, to tell you the truth. And I'm trying to see if there's any spots down here where it kind of looks like I need to go. There is... There's there's no real quest marker around here anymore. So, I'll tell you what. Let's just drop into here. And see what we got. Hello, hello. Is this the topmost floor, do you think? Yeah, absolutely sure about it. <laughs> Wait, I think I hear something. Welcome, humans. You must... <laughs> As though you think you've got what it taketh to be a hero, do you? You shall thune thee about that. Alright. I guess we're under attack. No sleep spells for me, thanks. You know what would make this fight faster? Anessa? Do you? You know who would help us out tremendously in these fights, Anessa? All right. That looks like he hits pretty hard. Oh, ouch. He kind of does. He kind of does. Monsters are defeated. Was it that simple? Okay. Yep. It sure was. The Orb of Power. That felt too easy. Is that the Orb of Power? Yes. By Jove, I think that I see the Orb was named for this knot. I can feel its energy from here. This shall surely aid us in defeating Atlas. Still, there is something I cannot comprehend. What was such a treasure doing here in the first place? Who built this beacon and why? It sits alone in the ocean with naught else in sight? 
somehow seems not of this world, like something out of a dream. What does it matter? We have what we came for. Let us return to the castle and complete the blueprint. All right, uh, we can now. So we'll just teleport back. And now they should be working on this tower. Oh, the tower's pretty much almost done now. Hey, girl. I got it. Well done, my lamb. You found the lighthouse and brought back the orb of power. Well, it wasn't easy without my buddy. As soon as the town's people have finished building the tower, they only have to add the orb at the top to complete the blueprint. However, I don't mean to worry you, Zuljin, but I must confess I've sensed a malevolent presence moving around the castle of late. I cannot help but feel that Malroth's imprisonment may not be uh, for the good of the kingdom, but as part of the some evildoer's scheme, our chances of winning this war increase by the day, and yet one among us still works with the enemy. Whoever this poor misguided soul is, it would seem that they care not who wins or loses. There must be another reason for their betrayal. Yeah, to save their own hide. To save their own hide. Warwick. Um. <laughs> there it is. Tower is complete. Now I go put the, the power stone on top. I would be giving a high five to my buddy right now. Glad tidings, Zuljin. The blueprint is finished. We need to build one more charging tower and an emplacement for the weapon itself. Uh, and our Casable Cannon will be complete. What's that? We also need to see Malroth freed from the dungeon, you say? We must tread carefully, Zuljin. When it comes to dealing with traitors, timing is key. If we become impatient and play our hand too soon, all may be lost. For now, let us happy that first tower is complete. Well, almost complete. All that remains for you is to place the Orb of Power. So at least the game lets you kind of talk about your uh, your commitment to to freeing Malroth, at least. Spiffing works, Zuljin. Now that the Orb of Power is in place, the Charging Tower is ready for action. His Majesty tells us the tower and the one of the build next gather of energy from the citizens of Moonbrook. Once charged, the two towers pass this energy to the Casable Cannon itself, which can unleash it as a bolt of pure power. Speaking of power, Zuljin, you have much of it yourself. I speak not for your martial fight, but your ability to inspire others. I have an idea that just may help lead our soldiers into battle. Just as you led the townspeople into building work, I will speak with the king about it. You have done us proud, Zuljin. A finer tower I've never seen. All that remains is to imbue it with the ever present energies of the men and women of this fair kingdom. People of Moonbrook, gather hither, raise your hands toward the tower, offer up some strength and defense of your home. Nice. Pretty darn powerful. Great. We have a Tesla coil now. <laughs> By Jove, I've never knew there was so much power. As soon as one more tower and the gun itself is built, with overwhelming power will the Casable Cannon be filled. He had trouble with that last line, it looked like. <laughs> Come, Zuljin, we must draw out yet more of our people's powers. It is time to draw a blueprint for the second tower. At least this port's pretty streamlined, yep. it seems. <laughs> all right, Tower Blueprint 2 is done. They're going to do all the same stuff, I believe. I would hate to have to gather more marble. Did enough of that this time coming around. Uh, let's see. Speaking of Atlas, I wonder why the Fiend has not attacked us yet. With his colossal strength, he can finish us off at any time that he liked. Atlas longs for destruction. No doubt he is waiting for us to finish our building work. So that when he strikes, there will be the more to destroy. All the better to break our will. That does sound like something he would do. Such is the way of the children of Horgon. But that, but be that as it may, it would be remiss of us not to consider our alternatives. Our foe may have some other objective in mind. Whatever the case may be, our best course of action is to still build the Casable Cannon as quickly as we can. Indeed, you can rely on us to do exactly that. Come everyone, Moonrook needs you. Alright, get to building, y'all. According to His Majesty, the second tower will also require a rather unique item, the Orb of Magic. I suggest you leave the bulk of the building to us while you hunt for the unusual artifact. Just take the... just like last slime, I mean time. 
I believe I may once be of assistance. The Orb of Magic sleeps within Gwelin's Gate, uh, far to the north of Moonan. The cavern itself is long sunk beneath the waves, but if you, Warwick, and Anessa all work together, I'm sure you won't let something like that stop you. Gwelin's Gate? I have never heard of such a place before, nor did I know the lighthouse from whence uh, did you gain this knowledge, your majesty? Come now, Nessa, it is not a place of a soldier to question their liege. Some things I cannot share with even my most trusted generals. Sometimes I think the king is building all in his power, and he's guilty, like he's just power hungry, power mad, or whatever. I don't know about the descendant of Erdrick or whatever. Maybe he's an imposter all the time. I don't think we've ever shined the mirror of Ra in front of the king, have we? Hmm. Well, I think it's all our respective task. We shall continue our construction of the tower. Zuljin, you must find Gwelyn's gate and retrieve the orb of magic. All right. So north we go, right? Uh, that is going to be... Uh, the furthest north we have is just here. So we'll teleport to it. All right, so we should just be able to go straight there. You know, I never noticed this place is probably a, a good little spot to uh, fly from. Let's see here. Yeah, this works out pretty good, I think. Mountain to mountain, baby. Now we don't have to worry about all them, uh, all them silly monster fights. Because we've all... Lord knows I've killed a few bombs out here. Ha! I've killed a few bombs out here, guys. Alright, this is the spot. Ouch. <laughs> Gwalen's Gate. Ooze to be lovely little dungeon. Now it's sunk beneath the waves. There's something strange going on with this world. Eep. Humans, help. They're going to squish me. Uh-oh. He's going to tell on us. That slime was saying something about Gwelyn's Gate. Perhaps it knows something about the place uh, that might be useful. Looks like it fled into the water after it. Eep, you can swim? What are you going to do to me? I'll tell you anything. Just don't squish me. Oh, I know. I bet you want the treasure hidden at the back of Gwelyn's Gate, don't you? It's a long way to goo. If you can't breathe underwater, you drown before you got halfway there. Maybe those big clams would come in oozeful. If you breathe the air bubbles they blow out, they might make it all the way to the end of the tunnel. Go ahead and try it. Just watch out for the men of war. If they sting you, you'll be stung for some slime. Alright. So we need uh, clam bubbles, eh? Like this one? Alright, yeah, that refills... All of our uh, our air, and this I have to say is uh, well, it's something else, isn't it? <laughs> it's something else. All right, so we just need to get to that bubble maker right there. Uh, should be another bubble here, right? That was supposed to be my bubble, man. There we go. <laughs> All right. Ouch. So somebody got hit there. I didn't get hit. That's all I know. All right, there's the chest right there. Well, this wasn't hard at all. Oh! We should be fine down here. We should be fine. All I know is getting fighting in the water is not the easiest thing in the world. Let's hit this bubble just in case. There we go. We're fighting so slow right now. So slow. And he just did a power attack on old boy. Yeah, you show him who's boss crab. He's a traitor anyway. Ouch. Recovery from getting hit takes very, very long. Alright, there's the four monsters defeated. And 
And now the chest should be available. Yup. Okay. Yep, we got it. And look at all this stuff down here. Is that the orb of magic? With that, we can complete the second tower. Jolly good. Let us return to Moonbrook Castle without delay. Don't you worry about it. But first, I'm getting my real water. Because I don't need... Oh, I can't scoop this up just yet. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Um, Hold on. Let's see. If I can get a porthole. Oh, oh. I don't know if I might need that or whatever. Y'all know how I do, man. I just get, sometimes I just get decoration stuff just in case it unlocks stuff. Back with the goods, bruh. Well, you found Gwelyn's gate and retrieved the orb of magic. Excellent work, Zuljan. Here comes the king. Second tower is all but built, and now we have the orb. We can place the final finishing touch. They hadn't even started building that thing. From whence did the lighthouse in Gwelyn's Gate spring forth, you ask? Do you not recall, Builder, what I mentioned to you previously? I said that your time on the island may reveal to you dark secret at the heart of this world. Neither the lighthouse nor Gwelyn's Gate or what they once were. Moonbrook Castle, too, is not how it should be. Yes, it was once raised to the ground by Hargon's hordes, but the people returned. They rebuilt it. I know not how I know this, or what it might mean. All I know is that I know. Ever since I heard the peal of the Builder's Bell, a thousand clouded memories of this world arose within my mind, and just as many questions. I intend to get to the bottom of this riddle, rest assured that I shall keep you appraised of the developments of my investigation. Yeah, I bet you will. Sorry if I seem cynical this episode, guys. <laughs> Plot's just bothering me, and I'm allowed to get tilted a little bit when my best friend's in jail, right? I think that's going to be it for this episode, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give us a dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zildjian signing off, and we'll see you next time.